There are many reasons why I am proud to be British. Cups of tea, the Premier League, crumpets. Tommy Robinson, that is a joke, that's a joke. But if there is one thing that makes me want to shoot myself for being from this nation, it's Love Island. I have watched one full season of Love Island and literally while I was watching it the whole way through, every night when there was a new episode, I would say to myself, I am not watching this next year. And since then, every summer on social media, you see people consistently tweeting about Love Island and it is hell for a little bit. Your timeline is full of Love Island. Last year, I even muted the hashtag Love Island and the words Love Island so that I didn't have to see it on my timeline. And usually that's just a brief period in the summer that we have to get past. It is what it is, it happens. However, this year, not only is it back, it's, 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 we're in, ja it's January. We're, we're in January and Love Island's happening. They're doing two seasons of Love Island this year. What's going on? The last thing anyone asked for was more Love Island. Now, quick disclaimer before you all go in the comments and go, oh my God, Love Island's already started. You're so late. I know, but the Calvin beef took over. This was recorded beforehand. So I'm only having time to get it out now. Enjoy it anyway. Now, as with any season of Love Island, we've got the trailer, we've got the exclusive. Who is going into the villa? We're going to find out today. We're going to meet them, greet them, and absolutely take the piss out of them. So without further ado, grab your white teeth and your fake tan, and let's meet the contestants. So first, we're going to watch Meet the Islanders, and it's a mashup of all the Islanders. And then after this, we're going to go one by one and meet each one individually. So let's see what they've got in store. It was like Star Trek back there, all them whites. Immediate sign of intelligence. I can tell by that guy's voice that he's from Manchester, and that may, I'm, I'm ashamed to be from Manchester now. Look, look at all them lights in the wax lot. We're from Star Trek. No, lad, you're on the set of a production company. They have lights. Lights are normal. Do you reckon if he walked into my room, he'd look at my softbox and go, Fuck it, oh, we're in Star Trek, lad. My name's Shauna. Hello, Shauna. My name's Mike. You're right, Mike. I'm Paige. Paige. I'm Connor. Oh. Oh. Now, I know you shouldn't judge a book by its cover and first impressions, but I already don't like him. Just look at him. Weirdo. I'm Leanne Eve. Oh, nice. They've got a little duplication glitch going on. Let's have it. Right, mate. Uh, how are you doing? Yeah, yeah. Anyone can do that. You're not conning me. Ollie. Jess. Oh, shit. They're two different people. Coward. It's Sonny Spud. Having the second name Fudge does make me feel really unique. Having a different surname makes you feel unique. Being called Fudge is not a personality trait, lass. You can still be a boring cunt. I absolutely don't like Fudge. She doesn't even like Fudge. Well, Shoddy, you've made a great impression. Can't wait to see you in the villa, lass. My type on paper <laughs> is probably blonde, athletic. Why does this guy sound like he's got a load of toilet paper in his mouth? My type on paper. Your type on paper? More like your mouth on toilet paper. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna try this. We are gonna try. I'm, I'm convinced my theory's correct, right? Toilet paper in the gob. You ready? My type. <laughs> I got this, right? My type on paper. <laughs> nice to my mum, because if you don't get on with Tracy, then there's no future. Right, listen, lass, you seem annoying as fuck, but I do have to agree with you here. If you don't get on with Big Liz, there is not a chance. You know what? I'm gonna say this now. Self confessed, mummy's boy. Can you put self confessed virgin as well? No, I would say I want tall, dark, and handsome. I'm not gonna lie, you look like you want a couple of grams of ket, but you know, it'll do. Looks wise and tall, good teeth. Fucking hell! It's Donatello! Since I've got these teeth, I've been feeling so many more birds. I don't like him. I knew I was right. Just from when he said his name. Since I got these teeth, I've been pulling loads of birds. Just, you can pause it at any point while this guy's speaking. He has the most annoying face. I just, I what? It's so annoying. <laughs> Look at this. Look at him. In. Not sensitive because I literally will offend you straight away. I'm just like savage. I like girls that have like... Oh, she's wagging her finger. No, she's savage. Not savage. I don't like it. Girls that have like straight kind of black kind of hair. Them girls that have straight kind of black kind of hair. 
How do you have kinda black hair? It's just not quite, not quite straight, not quite black, but kinda. That is, that is a bit of me. Straight, kinda, black, kinda hair. Fuck off. A lot of men, I would say, love my long dark hair. Oh, and then it immediately cuts to this last going, men like my straight black hair. So before they're even in the villa, the producers are like, oi, these two are shagging. We like really confident guys. If you were to go to the club, like not- Which one's which? I, I genuinely don't know. You, they, you can't put both of these in the villa. What if you accidentally shag the wrong one? Now what are you doing? We like really confident guys. If you were to go to the club, like not the guy standing in the corner, like the guy dancing. I think to be fair, that is my type too. The guy that dances. You know, if you're in the club and there's a guy dancing all over it, fucking dancing in a club doesn't make you confident. All right, that is not confident. Some I can't say that. Wouldn't harm a shed of grass more as well. What's he saying? Wouldn't harm a shed of grouse more as well. What? It's like a bit of land, which is like a heather, a load of grouse live on it. It's, it's a big deal. <laughs> I don't really understand what he said, but that bit at the end, mate. It's a big deal. Oh, piss off, you Tory. <laughs> it depends who you ask. I'd say I'm a good boyfriend. How many of them do you reckon are going to say, it depends who you ask if I'm a good partner or not. That means you're a dickhead. I have been known for ghosting the girls. Right, for you. Uh, I really don't like him. You're going on a show to find love, brand deals, and the first thing you admit to the camera is, I've been known for ghosting the girls, you know, I'm a dickhead. Why is that the first, why Why would you want that out there? Why would you say that? Mug me off, shit's going down. Oh no, don't mug her off. Please don't mug her off, I don't want shit to go down, I just want to live a peaceful life. Please. I just want to find someone. I just want to look at them and just think like, wow, you are amazing and I want to spend the rest of my life with you. Oh, that's kind of cute, isn't it? Look at her fucking Donatello coming out with the cute lines. <laughs> Sorry, I just make myself cringe. It's all right. I make myself cringe too. What the fuck am I doing? I'm talking to a camera about Love Island contestants. Depends which ex you ask. Am I a good boyfriend? Knew it. There's another one. There's a fucking another one. Toilet paper mouth boy says the same thing. Typical. This is what I mean. Everyone from this show is factory made. They're all bland, boring, fucking just pretty figures that they shove on an island, have them shag for a few weeks so they can come out and rake in the brand deals. That's all they do. Am I loyal? Am I loyal? Am I loyal? I don't know. That is a fucking phenomenal start laugh. If I was a boy on that villa, I'm going straight for you. Take many boxes. I can cook. I can clean. I do all the washing. Come on, manny lad. Cooking and cleaning. We love it. Oh, I hope I'm going to be successful on Love Island. You're probably not, mate. They're all racist. I feel like my role in the villa will be an alpha dog. Uh, nothing worse than a guy that says he's going to be the alpha. He does. He's definitely not. He's going to get swept aside by Big Officer Mike and he's going to cry about it little pussy. I'm definitely gonna look to sweep someone off their feet. Well, you better get a broom then, laddie. Get me in that villa. Let me see the girls. Oh, come on, man. You're representing my hometown. Don't be a wetty. It would be so ideal if like, I just met someone, got along with them. Oh, it, just, it would be so nice if I just got along with someone. Plus, if you've never got along with someone, you might be the issue. Game on. Look at him. I'm, I don't like him. I don't like him. Look at him. Oh my god! <laughs> and that's all they've got for the big trailer, so let's talk to our islanders individually. Now unfortunately, at the time of recording this, the guy that I don't like the most hasn't got his individual interview out, so we're just going to have to go through. There's eight of them out at the moment, not all of them are there, there's a couple missing, but we'll make do with what we've got. So first up, we're going to revisit Mrs. Fudge and see what she's saying. Oh my god! Five and eight? Oh my god! They've got pictures and lights in the background. Mental. Having the second name Fudge does make me feel really unique. I know I said it a few minutes ago, but that's really the first thing you're going to say when you're asked to talk about yourself and what you offer. You feel unique because your surname's Fudge. I love like dessert dates. Like I love going to like a, like, is it a gelato or gelato? I don't really know how you pronounce it. Gelato. Gelato. She's a beauty consultant from Bristol that can't pronounce gelato. How do you reckon she did in her GCSEs? And now she's getting the opportunity of a lifetime, gonna be rich for the rest of her life just because she's got straight kinda black kinda hair and is getting lobbed on Love Island just because she's fit. Sick. 
Whatever happened to working hard for your money, man? These people will never know what it's like to scream at the top of your lungs whenever the Avengers music air rape version goes off. It, it, it's, it's hard. It's just a hard life out here, you know what I mean? And these people are just getting it handed to them. It's, it's, it's disgusting. The last guy that I was seeing, his name was Prince. He was no Prince Charming for me. It's put me off Princess for life. I need to find myself a king. First of all, somewhat witty. Cool. I like it. But you've been put off princes for life because your last boyfriend was called Prince and and, and you didn't like him. Noted. I've got that. Listen, Shawnee Fudge, we will find you a king. I hope to find love on Love Island. You know, someone who actually wants to like pursue something. The only thing you're going to be pursuing is brand deals after you break up with the guy that you leave the villa with three weeks later. I'm sorry, but it's just the truth. My friends and family would describe me as the Princess Jasmine of Bristol. I just need to find my Aladdin. She's the Princess Jasmine of Bristol. When Aladdin married Princess Jasmine, that made Aladdin a prince. Right, that's enough for you, Mrs. Fudge. Let's get on to the next one. But I'd say I was pretty ugly growing up. I'll throw it out there. I wasn't the best looking guy. When I was younger, fucking clapped, mate. Look at me now. Still fucking clapped, mate. But at some point, I obviously had a glow up and... My fucking ego just went through the roof. I think it's illegal to be as sexy as me. So if I see anybody that's as sexy or any more sexy than me, they're probably getting locked up too. Absolute scenes when he walks into the villa, buns off all the girls, goes straight to one of the lads and goes, Oi, hands behind your back, you have the right to remain silent, get out of here. But obviously that would never happen because ITV are homophobic and don't have gay people on the show. Although my head's been turned in the past, I can assure any girl in the villa that they could definitely trust me and I'll be that guy. Even though I've cheated in the past, yeah, just all the girls can trust me. It's, it's fine, it's trust me, trust me. Right, Mike, I've had enough of you, let's go to the next one. My name's Shauna and I'm 25 from South London and I'm a Democratic Services Officer. I'm a big politics nerd. I work with people that are in politics. I sound completely different to them. Oh my God. They have an intelligent specimen on the show. I'll take back everything I've said. Everyone watch Love Island. They have someone who's clued up on politics. I don't even know shit about politics. Big up Shauna, she's my favourite so far. My ideal man would be six foot plus. One box checked. Nice to my mum, because if you don't get on with Tracy, then there's, there's no future. I do get on well with mummies, two boxes checked. I am definitely what you'd call it. That's all she wants. Fucking hell lads, I'm in there. I'm definitely confident when it comes to my looks, but I just think my personality tops it. You're not even that fit. I'd kind of hope that your personality topped it, otherwise we're in trouble. <laughs> I just want to get into the villa now. You just want to get into the villa? Off you go, lass. We'll go on to the next one. I like to say people find me woman. I've always got these dimples out anyway, so. She talks like someone's just constantly tickling her back with a feather. Just just like that. And she's just got she's got a little tickle that she can't get rid of. And she's like, I, I just kind of talking like this, you know what I mean? I literally don't date at all. I feel like the thought of a date actually makes me feel physically sick. The thought of a date makes me feel physically sick. So what they're going to do is when she goes, I've got a text, you're going on a date. She's going to be like, fuck this shit, I'm out of here, man, get me on the plane home. I definitely would never approach um, a member of the opposite sex. If a boy looks at you and, I don't know, he finds you good looking, he should come over to you. Sexist, confirmed she's sexist, cancel her, cancel Sophie. I mean, Donatello, get her out, get her off the show, bin her. Honestly though, she doesn't actually seem that bad. Let's just do the next one. Cool, that's everyone, sick. So this video was a little bit different than my usual stuff, but let me know what you thought of it. I decided before recording, I was gonna be a little bit more savage like that last in the video. So let me know if you enjoyed it. Let me know if you want me to do more similar stuff in the future. Leave a like on the video, turn notifications on, make sure you subscribe, pass the video about, pass my channel about, tell everyone that Owen Powell is taking over in 2020. Thank you for watching. Don't watch Love Island and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.